Oshigosh learned to dance before she could walk. A second generation Indian American, she has been immersed in Indian classical dance for close to 13 years. It started from my mother. She always wanted to do dance when she was very young. And so the first time she took me to a dance performance, my eyes immediately lit up. I was so excited. The movements were so exciting to me. I would see them do these beautiful hand gestures and I would think, wow, I, if only I could do that. Oishi, now a high school student at Walt Whitman High School, uses her love for dance to explore her identity as an Indian American and address the misconceptions about her culture. I think when I was younger, I was really quiet about my heritage because there would be incidents at school where you know, I wouldn't really fit in when I would say, oh, you know, this is what I do at home or this is what I wear sometimes. You know, I didn't, fit, I didn't feel like, you know, I was part of my peers. But as I danced more, I really got more comfortable with who I was as an Indian American. I absolutely love spreading my culture to the people I know. Through my dance and through education through that, I can teach people, you know, that Indian classical dance is not just dance, it's meditation, it's an art form, it's so much more than that. I dance because it brings me joy. Whenever I feel down, I always look forward to dancing with my teachers, my friends, or just practicing by myself. Oishi is a rising exponent of Odyssey, a thousand-year-old form of Indian classical dance, and Cho, an almost extinct form of Indian folk dance. What I want to do is really spread Cho all around. I want to show people that, you know, it's present, it's here, and I want to show the beauty of it. When I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of representation. I didn't have people on TV that looked like me. I didn't have people dancing that looked like me as much. So to dance in more diverse areas, not just, you know, going to like an Indian event is really um, what I want to aim at because I want to show the young brown girls there that, you know, there's someone there who does, you know, dance and does everything. Oishi considers herself lucky for coming from an artistic family. Her father, a film and theater director films all her performances, and her mother, a dancer and an actress, supports her with all her dances. They're one of my biggest supporters. They were the ones uh, during COVID. My mom was the one pulling up all of the different festivals, different dance performances I was doing. And my dad was, you know, the director of the camera. He was the one shooting. He was the ones, you know, setting up the looks. They're such a team. I really hope to aspire to become like both of them. After her high school graduation, Oishi plans to major in something STEM. That is something I'm interested in. We'll see. All I know is that dance will be there no matter what. <laughs>